What's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Prime Media back with another Dokkan Battle video and today I am extremely excited to talk to you guys about the absolutely massive update that we're about to get on Global. Now at this point, most of you should have seen the news release about version 4.3.2 and one interesting thing to note is that 4.3.2 is the exact version that JP is on right now, which would mean that once Global eventually gets this update, which is probably going to happen sometime next week I'd say, this will be the first time in Dokkan history that both Global and JP are on the same version of the game at the same time, which is pretty damn exciting to me. But with that said, why don't we take a quick look at all the new features that Global players can expect to get with this update, because I'm sure that's what you guys really care about. So here we go. So for this video, we're going to use the news release that JP got for version 4.3.0 as a reference, because I'm pretty sure that 4.3.1 and 4.3.2 that came after were just patches to fix the bugs that came with 4.3.0, so it really shouldn't be a big deal. Alright, let's jump in. At number 1, the first new feature that global players can expect to get with the new update, and in my opinion, the most important one, is definitely the compensation boost or reward boost system that essentially allows us to hit a button to double the stamina cost of whatever story event or Dokkan event we're running at the time, but also double the amount of rewards we're supposed to get for that run as well. So for example, if you're running a Dokkan event and you're trying to get Dokkan Awakening medals, this system will give you twice the amount of medals that you were supposed to get, and same thing for character drops, you'll get double the character drops you were supposed to get for twice the stamina. So of course, for farming purposes, this is an absolute godsend. It will make farming quite a bit faster, and I've been using it a lot on the JP side, and I absolutely love it. Although, there is one, you know, kind of major issue I have with the system right now, and it's that it's kind of limited in its use at the moment, mainly because we only get a maximum of three charges at a time, and each use uses up one charge. And every charge takes eight whole hours, eight hours to replenish. So in theory, in a 24 hour day, you can only use it a maximum of three times, which, you know, kind of sucks, and uh, I wish that we got more charges. I'm still holding out hope, honestly, that Bandai will eventually give us maybe five or ten charges at a time, but you know what? With that said, it's still super useful. I still really like it, and I'd much rather have a limited version of the reward boot system right now than not have it at all. So <laughs> there you go. That's number one for you guys, a reward boot system. Really, really exciting and I can't wait to get it on global as well. Next up, we have a new addition to the filter system, which will give us the ability to filter by specific links, as well as, I believe, specific character effects like stunning or healing or sealing or anything like that. And this will be extremely, extremely useful for team building purposes. All right, moving on at number three, we will now be able to see the super attack animations of every single unit in the game, whether or not you actually own them. And of course, it's gonna be really nice for people who aren't whales and can't pull every single new unit. If they wanna see the super attacks for those guys, they can still go into the menu now and see them. But also, another aspect of this is that if you're a content creator like me, you can actually use these clips for your videos. Because in the past, if you wanted to see the super attack for a specific unit or use it in a video, you would have to set up a team and run the team and then get the super to go off and then record that, right? But instead now, you can just go into the menu and find that character and play it, record it, use it for the video. So it's gonna be a lot more convenient that way. Just a little side note, I guess, for content creators out there. There you go. So that's number three. Now, unfortunately, the remaining three updates are significantly less hype than the previous three, but I'll still go over them anyways for the purpose of completion. So number four basically says that the little new icon beside Extreme Z battle events will now go away after you challenge the event even once as opposed to in the past where I believe it would stay there for a certain period of time before going away. Number five says for your team menu, if there's an item that you run out of, instead of staying there and having a zero under it, the icon will just completely go away. And number six is just other miscellaneous bug fixes. So there you go guys, that's gonna be update 4.3.2 for you. Of course, I don't know everything for sure, so 
there might be a few things that change on the global version but generally speaking going off of what JP got in the past is a pretty safe bet for global updates so I'm pretty confident in this stuff but that's all I gotta say guys hope you enjoyed the video hope you guys are excited for version 4.3.2 very soon on global and let me know in the comments down below which part of this update you're the most excited for but as always if you guys enjoyed today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you like what you see then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content that's all i gotta say i'm out of here hope you guys have a fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out <laughs>